Good evening, YouTubers. This is Viperbyte of the Viperbyte Network, and this evening, Missy and I, my videographer, on our last night of uh, another camping trip, and uh, we're at Otter Creek, just a little bit north of the Fort Knox uh, military base, and one of the great uh, advantages of this uh, campground is there's also a shooting range. So, uh, once again, I got a chance to take uh, one of my favorite uh, weapons out, and we're going to do a little bit of a review. I've owned this uh, weapon for about, oh, eight months now. And it is the Beretta CX-4 Storm 9mm. I'm going to have Missy scan here some of the add-ons that I've done. This particular CX-4 Storm I got is the one that interchanges the magazines with the PX-4, the Beretta PX-4 9mm. I've also added a Burris Fast Fire 3 red dot, which is awesome. And as she moves forward there, you're going to see a Streamlight TLR1 HL, and that has over 600 and uh, right, right around 650 lumina. And I'll have an, uh, I've also ordered a barrel shroud. This is not the uh, Beretta's barrel shroud. It's one that I found online that I like and uh, I think it really adds to the uh, weapon. So tonight I'm just going to go over why I bought this weapon and uh, also some of the advantages I think of it and this weapon does come in uh, three different calibers that I know about. The 9mm, the uh, 40 caliber and the 45 ACP. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> on our uh, review of this gun. All right. I know that I'm much prettier to look at than this uh, weapon, but here we have it. The Beretta CX-4 Storm. Um, one of the uh, reasons that I bought this uh, gun is I was looking for one a camp gun uh, when when I go camping a nice short little carbine yeah I have my AR uh, but I like this one because of its compact size and also uh, next on my list is to get a Beretta PX4 nine millimeter I currently have a Ruger SR9C and uh, I thought it would be great being able to uh, swap mags out with this so. I believe this is the, it comes with a couple of 17 round mags. Um, you can get magazines 20 and 30 round. So you can definitely load this baby up to have some fun shooting. So the uh, some of the advantages of this uh, is that this, this gun here, you can change, if you're a left-handed shooter, you can change the charging handle and... The release so that you can shoot this completely left-handed so that's one of the advantages uh, of having this the uh, weapon comes with uh, front sights and back sights that are completely folded down a piccani rail here on the top there's one up here on the front and then I went ahead and bought um, a accessory to it which show which allows you to connect this fore end and it uh, gets you the Picatinny rails on both sides. So uh, that was an accessory change. All right, I'm gonna set this down and uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of the advantages. All right, first off, why nine millimeter? Well, as I get older, um, and I know that there are uh, people out there that say, oh, 9 millimeter for self-defense uh, is not good. But as I get older, I'm starting to become more, uh, shall we say, recoil sensitive. And right now, uh, I'm very comfortable shooting a 9 millimeter versus a 45. Um, I shot both in the military, enjoyed them both. But I, I went with the 9 millimeter uh, for that reason. And... Uh, I know that there's all kinds of debates out there about the 40 calibers better than the, or the 45. I'm not going to get into all that. That was my personal reason. What's nice is uh, they make this uh, pistol uh, 
caliber carbine in uh, in those three. So you can get whatever you want for whatever reason uh, for that. I got the Burris Fast Fire 3 um, because of uh, my eyesight. I like the 3 MOA dot. Uh, there are uh, better uh, red dots out there and go down to 1 MOA. But uh, 3 MOA was good for me. And then the uh, Streamlight um, that I got here. This one here, the TLR1, is pumping out over 600 Lumina. You put that thing on strobe and hit somebody with that, not only are you going to disorient them, but you are definitely going to light them up. And uh, I thought that was a good addition, especially for a camp gun. Uh, you get some uh, critter, either four leg or two leg comes into your uh, camp. Uh, you can definitely uh, have no problem identifying your target at night. So that's the reason I chose that. I guess one of the big negatives is that people say they love this light. But you can see here on the bezel, a lot of people don't like uh, that chrome bezel. Um, you know, to me, you could blacken it out various ways, uh, but uh, it wasn't a big deal for me. So this barrel shroud I got, I really don't like the Beretta one that uh, has a lot of the small holes. And I'll put down in the uh, uh, in the comments section uh, the website of where I got this. But I really like this one with a little bit larger holes. Um, I think it really adds to the weapon. So... Uh, Another accessory I got was a short uh, four end from Beretta, um, which there's a variety of ways to use this. Um, it, I didn't get the folding one because the comment section said that it wasn't as stable. And uh, what is nice about this one is it's got a plug here in the bottom where you're able to uh, store, uh, you store a multitude of things in there. You can put a little fire kit in, um, that sort of thing. So, anyway. All right. Here's the reasons I got it. First off, I consider it a good camp gun. Um, yeah, there's uh, other people that may say, well, you could get, like, if you want to get a pistol caliber carbine, you could uh, you could get, like, a three fifty seven, uh, like a lever action rifle. That's actually on my list to go with my three fifty seven, my SP-101. Um, but I really wanted to try this with a 9mm. Um, is it effective for self-defense? Of course it is. Um, are there better calibers out there? Yeah, we could get into that debate. I'm not going to. For me, it was the right, uh, it was the right uh, caliber. And let's face it, uh, you load this up with some Hornaday critical duty. I don't think there's going to be uh, too many people arguing with you they're on the receiving end of that. Uh, magazines, this was the biggie. Um, this magazine, when I buy my PX4, I will absolutely be able to use these magazines. They also make a version of the CX4 that can be used with the LS92, the Beretta 92, and you can just do uh, switch magazines out for that uh, also. So I thought that was, uh, uh, to me, it was a good buying point. All right. Magazine size, you can get 20, 30 round mags. Um, they are expensive, there's no doubt, but you can order them right from Beretta. Uh, reliability, I've only put a few hundred rounds through this. Um, I found it to be as accurate as I am. Uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, so am I looking for a one MOA at 600 yards? No, this is a camp gun. Um, I've set it up. I've, I've zeroed it in for 25 yard, which I think if you do the research on the nine millimeter trajectory, you're going to find that that's uh, drop dropped at zero at a hundred. Um, so to me, the maximum I would use, want to use this weapon out for is about a hundred yards. Like I said, it's a good camp gun. So, um, so to me that, you know, that was good enough. So. And as far as reliability goes, uh, Beretta's been, you know, Beretta's name is solid. There aren't, there aren't too many people that can speak uh, poorly of Beretta. And uh, this gun has been around since 2003. Uh, before I bought it, I researched it. There really wasn't a lot of negative on it. Uh, most of it was in style or whatever. Some people said it was all plastic. It looked too futuristic. But the reliability on this is solid. And I tell you, at least uh, in the few hundred rounds I've shot through it, I haven't had any issues, no, 
fail to feed, fail to eject, anything of that nature. So to me, reliability was important. Um, now, I know that there are the Keltec Sub 2000 fanboys out there, and I guess that could be a uh, competitor. You know, if someone was looking to buy a, uh, a gun such as this, maybe looking to buy, I, I can just tell you, I have a Keltec P3AT 380. Um, I've had nothing but reliability problems. So for those of you that love Caltech out there, great. Love them. I won't buy another one as long as I live. Um, in fact, I'm getting ready to load, unload my P3AT, um, and I'll be one of those people that's uh, honest with the person I'm selling it to and, and tell them, you know, hey, I'm, I've, I've had problems with this. And yeah, Caltech will take care of it. Um, problem is, when you got to send it in, uh, you got to send it UPS next day air, unless you got an FFL, and guess what? That's 60 bucks. Well, I'm getting tired of paying 60 bucks to have them uh, try to fix that. So, for those of you that are jumping on the Caltech bandwagon, would rather have a sub 2000, all the power to you, have fun. No, no problems. You won't see one in my uh, gun safe, I can tell you that. All right, fun to shoot. Yeah, this thing is fun to shoot. And who wants to go to the range and uh, just practice on a weapon they don't enjoy? I mean, I, I go to the range. People uh, love looking at this gun. I've let some people shoot it. Um, you know, and it's 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 a fun weapon to shoot. The recoil is little to none. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's accurate. So uh, everything you want uh, in a uh, rifle or pistol carbine. Uh, it's there. So, uh, and then the last thing is this gun is just downright sexy. I mean, come on, look at this. You trick this thing out with a barrel shroud, a nice light, a red dot, and a tactical uh, sling, and, and you are ready to go. So, to me, it's just the perfect combination. I personally think it's sexier than a naughty nurse in a short white skirt, but that's my opinion. All right. How about some disadvantages? Well, there are some disadvantages. This this gun wasn't cheap. Um, there are those, and you could. You could buy probably a low-end AR-15 for what this thing costs. I think it MSRP is right around uh, 800 bucks. Uh, like at Cabela's, uh, Beretta is having like rebates and things of that nature. You probably get them cheaper, of course, on Gun Broker. Um, but it, that's a lot of money to spend on a uh, on a PCC. So you know that's a major disadvantage uh, for that. Uh, the second disadvantage, for some, I guess, might be is this is a dirty gun. And what I mean by that is, and, and I've shot a lot of rifles. This thing spits black powder out at you uh, today when we came back from the range, and I knew it was going to do this. My whole arm was nothing but peppered, so um, I don't know. Maybe it's the ammunition I'm, I'm using or whatever, uh, but uh, I just found it to be kind of interesting. I've shot a lot of rifles. I haven't seen this much uh, powder being spit out at me, but of course, for those of us who love guns, uh, the smell of black powder all over us just kind of like cologne before our date with our lady, right? So some might not call that uh, too much of a uh, disadvantage. Um, another disadvantage if you get the nine millimeter is you uh, you could probably have a more uh, powerful uh, caliber, but like I said, my reason for choosing that. Well, that's about it. Um, the Beretta CX-4 Storm in nine millimeter. Hope you enjoyed this review. It was just a simple one. Of course, it's for you to decide whether you want to go out and spend the money for one of these. Uh, you can go ahead, if you would, post uh, any questions you have in the comments uh, section or any comments you, you think about the rifle or anything like that. As long as you don't get too nasty, I'll keep them up there. Other than that, take care, and thank you for visiting the Viper Bite Network.